Hello fellow Lidos. Today I am here to discuss a very important problem that has been plaguing our online and offline communities. I am talking, of course, about the Girly Gang. If you are out of the loop, the Girly Gang is a fabulous print made by an indie brand from the United States of America called the Angelic Forest. Girly Gang takes counterculture in Lolita to a new level by introducing weaponry to a print. And not just any weaponry, heart-shaped brass knuckles and little pink switchblades. And as I have mentioned several many times, I am training to be a pro wrestler. I enjoy looking like a bowl of Fruit Loops and I enjoy fighting in the street. So what could be more perfect for me than this print? This is my first piece by Angelic Forest. They are, I believe, a one person show like so many independent brands. And the creator of the brand is someone I've had the pleasure of interacting with individually before. This person is incredibly helpful in the Lolita design community. She has posted a ton how to design border prints, what kind of software she uses, her process when she's envisioning these things. I was looking to have some of my drawings converted into a border print for Hanukkah. I did a lot of digging in the Facebook groups for Lolita Sewing and Lolita Design. She posted a lot of really helpful information. I wanted to support her brand and how could I resist this print? This print is everything! So as usual, let's start with some specs. First of all, this came in four colorways. This is the pink one. I went back and forth between the pink and the purple for so long. I thought this would be a good fit for my wardrobe. The black colorway was also really beautiful. The weaponry pops really big time on that. So if you're into bittersweet or black but sweet prints, you should hunt for that one. Put that on your wish list. <laughs> So this is a plus size friendly piece. According to the size chart, I would be a medium. Um, always shocked to be a medium when I'm used to being a 2XL. But for this size chart, I fell within the medium range of measurements. So I got myself a medium. Let me just note that this is 100% cotton, made in USA, and has washing machine directions on the back. Machine wash delicate, do not bleach, tumble dry low, iron on reverse side. This is so cool. I don't have a ton of dresses that I feel comfortable just throwing in the washing machine, but this being all cotton and those machine directions being there gives me a ton of confidence and I will definitely look into doing that instead of hand washing like I usually do. So the pink colorway has this beautiful little minty ribbon up at the top, this custom lace border, and as you can see, the little hearts have A's and F's in them. I think this is super cute. This is the sort of quality you see on things like Angelic Pretty when they do their super sweet dresses with their custom lace. This has that same look and feel, and the cotton is super soft. So it's got another bit of lace up here at the front and down here at the bottom. On the front, there's also this detachable bow, and I really like the length of the tail on this bow. And the back has one too. As you can see, the back is about halfway shirred. Most people would call this quarter shirring, but it's actually pretty generous for quarter shirring. I'd almost call it one third shirring. And the straps are adjustable. They're meant to be worn crisscrossed, which is why they're like this. But what I I think is one of the coolest details on this dress is that it's not button on straps, they're snap on. And I feel like this is going to be so much sturdier in the long run. I'm constantly popping buttons off because I'm hulking out of my straps. So I'm hoping this will be a lot more secure. And there's three different levels. I'll probably be adjusting this to the longest one, but it's so refreshing that I've got this option and it's the perfect teal to match the rest of the teal in the print. Last little things I'm gonna point out before I try this on, it has pockets! And it actually has two pockets. They're pretty deep. I think they could actually hold some stuff. And lastly, I wanted to show that it is lined. The lining is also cotton. And I just think this is going to be the cutest dress to wear in warmer months, spring and summer. I mean, it already looks a little like Easter, but you know, violent. <laughs> My main concern trying this on is actually the length. So I've got some underskirts that I can wear 
in a pinch. I'm hoping everything will play out fine with those. And I guess we'll just see how it goes. So as usual, the goal is to make three different coordinates with this one dress to really test out its range. I'm also going to mix it up though. And since I don't have a whole ton of purple in my wardrobe outside of my blouses, and this is a print that has such lovely ranges of purple to play with, I'm going to coordinate with only purple main pieces. So that means purple blouses, uh, purple underdress is something I want to try out. So as usual, I'm going to try to keep the first coordinate pretty simple and accessible for entry-level Lolitas. It's going to have a very versatile wardrobe staple blouse. I also got the head bow for this release, so I'm going to coordinate it with the head bow for that one. For the second one, I'm going to use one of my favorite bow tie blouses. Yes, I do have it in purple. I'm never going to stop loving this blouse. I will die on this hill. And with that one, I'm going to go a little more my usual vintage -y, focus on the colors off the wall kawaii. I've got an idea to incorporate this furry collar thingy that I've got. So, well, we'll see how it pans out. I'm not making any promises, but I have a vision. We'll, just, we'll see where it takes us. And for the last look, I'm gonna do one of the more experimental things I've ever done. And I'm going to try and coordinate this look down and sporty. I've got one of those Ghost Girl Goods mesh underdresses in purple, and I think that's going to look really great with this. I'm also thinking I'm probably going to try coordinating some sweatbands, some knee braces that I have. For the third look, I really just want to think to myself, the year is 2045 and the Lolita girl gangs have taken over the universe. What does that look like? It's gonna look weird. I hope it looks cute too. I don't want it to get costumey. I want to keep it fashion, but it might not end up being very Lolita. We'll see. We'll see where it takes us. <laughs> All right, time to get changed. Let's go. Oh no, y'all, this is terrible. I think I might have peaked. I think this might be the coolest I have ever looked. This cord is everything. This is my Lady Sloth Charming Cumulus underskirt, and I'm wearing the matching wrist cuffs over my Lolita Collective gloves. On my head, I have a ribbon also from the Lolita Collective, the side barrette and head bow that I bought as part of this release. The barrette is included with the JSK, and the head bow is something I bought separately because I wanted it. The blouse is from Sakura Deerfield from Tower Bow. This brand and this blouse in particular are so plus size and Swolita friendly. It was like eight bucks on Taobao. Affiliate link below. I'm also wearing a string of blue pearls from the Lolita Collective, a set of lemon heart pins that I got on Taobao, my 10th anniversary angelic pretty milky bear pochette purse. The socks are also from the Lolita Collective and the shoes are a regular choice. I actually reviewed this wig in another video. And yeah, I do still have Hanukkah decorations up. If the HOA is gonna let my neighbors leave their Christmas lights up off season because it's COVID and everyone's depressed, then I get to leave up my Hanukkah stuff too. So my first impression of this dress, y'all, it is short. I'm six foot tall. Basically, I don't think I can wear this without some sort of underskirt, so that's gonna be a challenge, and I might just repeat this one throughout. Y'all, I am not even kidding when I say that this is the most comfortable I have ever been in Lolita. I think it's the cotton, as well as the looseness of the blouse sleeves, but even with a wig that's almost down to my petticoat, I feel freaking great. Maybe it's all the mesh or something, but I feel so comfortable. The girly gang head bow is quite comfortable as well, even with a double headband going on. I'm honestly shocked. I feel like I could wear this all day. I feel so beautiful. I feel more beautiful now wearing this than I did on my wedding day. This is what you get into Lolita for. Feeling the way that I feel right now is what you're going for when you get into this fashion. Look at yourself in the mirror and be like, yes, this is my best version of myself. So anyway, yeah, Sat Fest. This is, this is amazing. Definitely in love with this dress and cannot wait to push myself to style it two more times. I feel like I look so good that I could just call it now. But no, 
No, that's not the format. I've gotten the feedback. We like three looks per dress. We're gonna do three looks per dress. So time for number two. Well, this second look sure took an interesting turn. I've built this coordinate around my favorite neck bow blouse from Unique Vintage. I've kept the lady sloth underskirt on and I've paired that with some homemade wrist cuffs, bracelets from the Lolita Collective, off-brand rings. On my head, I've got my spicy donuts beret as well as the barrette clip that came with the dress. My shoes are by a regular choice. My socks are by Roji Roji. I've got a BB&B macaron necklace. The furry bunny muffler is from Baby the Stars Shine Bright. And of course, I've included my lyrical bunny pochette because why not? I don't really know what I was going for, but the second I put this beret on, I started thinking, well, that's a little bit military. Well, I tried to harken back to those European military portraits where the guys are wearing the furs and the sashes and the belts. This coordinate is slightly less comfortable than the first one. That might just be because the sun has come up and is now heating up my room, but it's really not the fault of the dress at all, which has continued to stay airy and breathable this entire time, because I'm also wearing an underskirt and a Me Legs tee organza petticoat under this bad boy. So yes, it is going to get warm. It probably doesn't help that I've got furry accessories either. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say that I like this coordinate more than the first one, but I am glad that it didn't fall super short compared to the first one. This one's definitely less cutesy. The higher heel and the pointed shoe definitely do something towards that, as does the no bang straight hair look. One great thing about this coordinate is that since it doesn't include gloves, it's much easier to operate my camera and I can actually fit into this ring. It was a gift from my friend Arbor who got me into Lolita. She transferred schools and we kind of lost touch. Arbor, if you're out there, I miss you and I think about you all the time. Someday I want to get freely together again. But yeah, she gave me this to kind of kickstart my wardrobe back in the day. It always makes me you think of her and that makes me really happy so that's cool all right now here comes the most experimental one yet wish me luck so once again i'm not really sure this still counts as lolita but i would definitely say that it still leads j fashion even if most of these pieces did not come from japan for this coordinate i've kept my me likes tea petticoat but over it i've layered the ghost girl goods mesh underdress in purple i have accessorized with my my violet bubblegum witch boots an off-brand ribbon bow necklace from the Lolita Collective, handmade and off-brand hair clips, hoop heart earrings from Unique Vintage, handmade resin bunny rings, and to give it a tougher look, I'm using my real hair purple lipstick and these darker lavender knee braces. I've also got these sweatbands at my wrist. If this woman tried to hold me up on the street, I would just ask her where she bought everything because damn, I look cool. Definitely making me think I should wear my hair up in piggy tails more often. My texture is such that I can kind of turn it into a ringlet also. See, now they're all sausagey. <laughs> Once again, I am quite comfortable and I look very much like myself. I do also want to address the knee braces. I wear them all the time in my daily life and I have kind of come to think of them as a fashion accessory. One thing I am a huge proponent of is if you have an ability or comfort related need, you should accommodate that no matter what. And I know plenty of Lolitas that need mobility aids like canes or walkers or even wheelchairs. It would be great to normalize the use of comfort and mobility aids in Lolita. And heck, we should be normalizing glasses too. Do you wanna use these ones? I mean, I wanna talk, I'm not wearing glasses for most of these videos because I still have hangups about whether or not they are Lolita enough. But you know what? Being able to see as well as I possibly can as not to get migraines or hurt myself is also kawaii. There, I said it. I've declared it, glasses and Lolita is now kawaii, knee braces are kawaii, and you know what, if you need to wear orthopedic flats, that's kawaii too. Obviously, do your best to get something that matches the aesthetic, but we all have to work with what we've got and that gets harder and harder the less typical, standard, normative your body is. 
but this is Lolita fashion. It's counterculture. It's supposed to be off the beaten path. Don't bother conforming to anything you don't want to conform to. Suppose it wouldn't be an Elvira video if I didn't go on a rant about body images or beauty standards or whatever. This is my brand. Anyway, to wrap things up, I must say that I am definitely a fan of the Angelic Forest. I will be looking out for their future releases and I might contact the brand owner about seeing if I can get a slightly longer skirt included custom made next time because this dress is perfect in every single way except the length. That's like the one thing that I, as a tall plus size Swolita, just, mm, this is a little, a little risque otherwise. It's all right, this dress is amazing and it's worth investing in more variety of underskirts if it means I'm gonna be able to keep wearing it and coordinating it different ways. Huzzah! Anyway, I hope that you found this video fun and interesting. If you've got this dress, I would love to hear what colorway you got it in and how you're planning on styling it because I can already tell this is gonna become one of my favorites and I don't want it to get stale, so let's keep brainstorming some cool things we could do to amp this dress up even more. All right, now before I go, there's just that one last little piece of business. I'm gonna ask you to like this video if you liked it. I'm gonna ask you to subscribe if you think that I'm cool and you'd wanna hear more from me. I'm like this close to my first 100 subscribers and when that happens, YouTube suddenly cares about you a whole lot more and lets you do more cool stuff. So I definitely want the ability to do better stuff with my channel and that can only happen once YouTube sees that 100 people like me enough to subscribe. All right, well, I've been Ellie Vira. You have been awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in another video. <laughs> Bye.